All right, the last step in what I call the alignment and clarity phase, right, when we're doing our research and seeing what this brand could potentially be is building the brand summary strategy. This is the most powerful aspect of the alignment and clarity. It's 12 prompts ran in sequence, which gives you everything about your brand, your mission, vision, values, your customer avatars, your unique selling proposition, your marketing hooks, on and on and on. It's essentially a marketing document that tells you everything about your brand and what it potentially could be. Now, before this, there's previous videos. If you haven't seen them, you can go watch them. We brainstorm or found a niche that works for us, right? And then we brainstorm digital products against that niche that solves pain points. And then we picked out of that brainstorming of the product list, we found five to 10 where you refined each every one and gave us even more ideas. Now we've got enough information that we can feed into this brand summary and really get a good comprehensive idea of what our brand can look like. Let me show you. Like we said, this is the fourth step in this AI powered launch pad. The fourth step is we've already done brainstorming the niche products and then refine the products. And now we're defining the brand summary strategy. We're basically it's 12 prompts run in sequence and it's Pretty powerful. It gives you a really good source of information. Again, when you extract it, what it ends up being, it ends up being pretty much a 20-page document or so of everything about your brand. This is the ultimate thing that we're searching for, This all this data, this comprehensive data that answers everything about your brand. It'll make sense. Now, again, this is the kind of last part of the alignment and clarity phase, if so, so this is kind of where it all kind of comes together. So again, if we look at the prompts, we're going to do the brand summary, we do mission, vision, values, potential pain points, product offerings, product benefits, avatar creation, avatar buying habits, lifestyle, brand tone and voice, marketing hooks, and content ideas and creation. Now, I'm not going to run all 12 of these in the video. It would just make it too long. But the important one is getting prompt one started, getting this first one going. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this prompt, and we're going to go into our conversation in ChatGPT. Now, this is, as again, the ongoing conversation. You don't have to have all the ongoing conversation, but it's nice that it has all that context of brainstorming the niche, the products and everything. So it's all right there. So it's going to have that context. So that is the ideal. Now, I was trying to record this a while ago, and then my recorder crashed. So I already ran the prompt. So I pasted the prompt, which is what you see here, and I'm going to show you the result. Now, when you run the prompt, it's going to give you a result like this. It's going to say, great, let's start by gathering all the necessary information. Here are the questions that will help create a comprehensive brand strategy summary. Now, this intimidates a lot of people because, okay, I don't know the brand name. I I have a pretty good idea of the products and services offered, and you could communicate with ChatGPT because we did that in the previous videos and the previous steps. So you could communicate your favorite you know, bundle of products that would make up the base of your brand here. But maybe you don't know the target audience. Maybe you don't know the benefits and feature of the unique selling points. That's why you're using ChatGPT, right? So look at these questions that ChatGPT is asking you as an optional type of thing. And I'll show you what I mean. So my response to this was, look, this brand is all about the homeschooling piece that we've been exploring. Please, but I need help answering all the questions. Please take what we've explored so far and do the best that you can, can in filling in the blanks. See what I did there? I gave it minimal information, and so ChatGPT obliged. And so it has all that context. It said the brand name is this. I don't like the name. We'll revisit that in a second. Products and services, target audience, so it's defined for you. And again, it just goes on and on filling out all of this great information. So if you're stuck and all you had was this idea and a business name and maybe a target audience, you can have ChatGPT do the rest. And because we have all that context prior, it did a pretty good job of filling this out, right? So this is great. This is a great first step. Now, maybe you don't like what's in there. This is the time you go back and forth with ChatGPT and refine it. So for example, we didn't like the brand name, right? And I could just tell it that. Just speak to it like it's another human being and say to the point, I don't like the brand name. Give me a list of 20 options and say whatever you want that are bold and intriguing. I'm just making this up, but you get my point. The lesson that I want you to walk away with here is don't give up. You know, Stay on the one prompt until you get it to the point that you like. And so here we go. We've got 20 ideas, and let's just say we like progress pioneers. And I would say that. I would say I love number 10 let's let's name that 
the brand. Please summarize it all again with the brand name. And I'm doing this for one reason. So you you may be going back and forth. I'm just doing it one time, but now the brand name is Progress Pioneers, and it's going through this complete summary. Maybe you went back and forth with the demographics. Maybe you went back and forth with unique selling points. I'm just showing you for the sake of the demo and brevity that you just don't get off the prompt until you're done with it, okay? And so now that we like where it's at, then my technique would be this. Would I would just copy all of this information well, then I'm happy with it. And then I would go and paste this in a running Word document, if that makes sense. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it can get messy. We're doing 12 prompts here, and you're doing a lot of back and forth. I want to at least capture what I have right here and put this in a brand-new Word document, a running document, and so I can just you know keep track of my brand summary. You can format it later, but just keep keep the output on a running document. So now that we've cut and pasted it into a Word document simulated there, then we can go next to prompt two, which is mission and vision values. Now, in here, it's got the variable your business name. ChatGPT 4.0 is pretty good. You don't have to type in the business name. It should know it now just based on the previous prompt. So now really, it's just a message of cutting and pasting and, and then seeing what the initial output is, and then we go for it. See, it knew what the business name was. So it's saying at Progress Pioneers, our mission is to empower homeschooling families and so forth. The vision statement is this. These are the core values. This is the unique value proposition. This is the differentiation from competitors, long-term impact, and so on and so forth. Now, same thing. I'm going to stay on prompt two, mission, vision, values, until I'm happy with it. So in here, let's just say, for example, I think the mission statement, vision statement are too long, and I want it shorter. Mission and vision are too long. Let's make it more concise, bold, and intriguing. You can be whatever. And again, I'm just showing you that just go back and forth. If you don't like the output, make it. Now look at what it did. It make it a lot, lot more shorter. And again, I can go back and forth and see what it gave me an error here. You most I can retry it for whatever reason. Chat speed messed up so it's going to write it again and look how much shorter that is and we like it and again going back and forth maybe i make the unique value proposition different just get it to the point have a conversation with it until you get it where you're happy when you like when you're happy again my technique i copy all of this copy it paste it into a word document and then you go on to the next one so i think you get the idea right we'll do one more let's just say with potential pain pain points and we'll go from there. And actually, we'll do one more after this one, too. I'll show you the customer avatars. But again, here's some of the common pain points for people that would be uh, interacting with our niche, right? And so you can just see the power of this and how fast you can go through it. And ChatGPT is doing an excellent job because we did the work on the previous prompts and giving us the context. And again, go back and forth, read it, see what you like, see what you don't like. And I'll skip ahead just to show you how powerful it is on the avatar creation. This is the most favorite, my favorite part. And so you would copy this and paste it in here. And it's going to give you a list of characters of who would be interacting with your brand. So here we've got Sarah, the organized homeschooler. She's 35. All her needs are goals, all her pain points. There's John, the new homeschool dad, and there's Emily. And then of course you've got Lisa. So in five, so we've got five this and then it even goes into a personalized targeted brand strategy for each one of those avatars so you can see the power of all this right so just keep going back and forth and go through all 12 of these prompts getting this into your external document so this is the this is the type of stuff that you learn in ai ninja so i've got this ultimate AI ninja package that if you want to check it out it's all about building your brand this business that first part what we just did was what i call this alignment and clarity phase right so we're doing this alignment and clarity phase everything i just showed you in these four videos from brainstorming niche brainstorming the products refining the products and doing this brand summary is all in this alignment and clarity phase the next phase would be this market ready mastery so all of this you can learn. You can go click the link in the bio. You can click the link down in the notes. It'll take you to this page. You can learn more about what we're trying to do. And essentially what you're going to do is I'm going to give you six months access to the AI Ninja, to the whole community, where I'm going to give you all the tools. I'm going to give you all the 
the plan. I'm going to give you all the people. And I'm going to hold your hand for six weeks to take you from an idea to building an online presence in six weeks or less inside a mastermind community that's on the Mighty Networks. You're going to get personalized guidance from me. I'm going to personally hold your hand and get you there. I'm going to give you all the tools, all the custom GPTs, all the prompt libraries, everything else. And you're also going to get the roadmap course. If you haven't had the roadmap course, this is the time to get it. You're going to get the roadmap. You're going to get it for that at 497 you get all of this so you can go buy the roadmap from somebody else you get into here you get everything that i'm giving you here follow that three-phase plan you get all these custom gpts that you see right here and you get the roadmap course and it's going to get upgraded here on august 15th you get that upgraded grandfathered in for free when it turns into an affiliate based product so this is all the stuff that you can check out. Again, it's only $4.97. I know I'm doing the shameless plug here, but I want to do life with you. I want to see you in this mastermind. So it's a $4.97 or two payments of $2.57. And again, you can read all the testimonials. You can see people that are actually being successful in here, going from no idea, no experience with ChatGPT, and they're launching a business in less than six weeks. So that's what it's all about. All right. Click the link in the bio if you want to learn more and leave me a comment and let me know what you think and I hope to see you on the inside.